And welcome back to another episode of Midweek Point and Click. We're on day nine of Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Um, huge, huge episode. A lot of things happened in, in uh, day eight. Um, I feel like I can do the recap while we wait on Steve. He is making another Froby. Um, no, I got back. Oh, I, he's back. There he is. Cool. I had five cool. seconds to spare when I got back. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Good timing. All right. Well, Steve, maybe you wouldn't do the recap then. What happened in the last episode? I was going to joke about it because because we are just coming off the other episode and also it's an easy one. It's literally we're floating up in Germany. Mm -hmm. The actual episode ended before even breakfast, technically. That's right, um, we didn't get breakfast. That's bullshit. But, um, basically did, but, like, the, the thing cut to traveling. Um, yeah, so we literally just went into, we found a bit of library. Uh, found a secret passage and grabbed. I know we just looked at the book, the diary in the secret room where they've got all the uh, treasures. It's like the Castlevania style where the Beaumonts have, I don't know about the games, but the cartoon. The Beaumonts have all this like treasure from all their evil hunting. Um, witch hunting. Um, there's that, and then we solved a tile puzzle, but it wasn't a full tile puzzle. It was a easy, fun one. And followed a research hole, and now we're going to Africa to, because I think his uncle is, that's where he's gone. That's uh, right. Uncle also possible mentor because he's the Shadow Hunter that we're going to learn to be a, um, or Schattenjäger, but Shadow Hunter that we're going to also be learn to be a Shadow Hunter. So we're on very our training wheels at the moment. Yeah, very Belmontish from um, Castlevania. Sweet. All right, let's continue from checkpoint. All right, what do we got? We got we got jeep, we got driver. We got, let's see if we can. The jeep driver can do nothing more for Gabriel at the moment. That's right, he's getting his zeds. He kind of looks like Nathan Drake there. I'm not leaving until I've got what I came for. Gabriel's on a rise overlooking an ancient snake mound in the People's Republic of Benin. If he's correct, this is the tribal homeland of Tetelo's people. For some reason this scene is reminding me of the Indiana Jones point and click. Oh, Fate of Atlantis? Yeah. I was thinking it the reminds me a car. lot of, um... What's that other one we did? Uh... Barrow one? Hobbs Barrow. Hobbs Barrow. Lee! How you doing? Mr. Lord Panda himself. Yes, Carl Weathers. Rest in peace. Poor dude. What, a, what an he, amazing man he is. Did he pass away recently? He did. He did. Overnight, I believe. Oh. Yeah, super sad. Way to go, guys. Bumming me out. First thing in the morning. Yeah. A um, lot of great roles. Obviously... Yep. Apollo. Apollo Creed. Chubbs Peterson. Um, we got... Predator. Yeah, what's his name in that again? Dylan. Dylan, yeah. You son of a bitch. Yeah, so it's... it's... Cooked up, so you cooked up a story and dropped the six of us in a meat grinder. What happened to you, Dylan? You used to be someone I could trust. Yeah. A lot of good roles, for sure. The mound has stood here for centuries. Gabriel can't affect it so easily. What was he in? I I, I'm trying to think of what I saw him in recently. It, he may have been in Little Nicky as Chubbs Peterson. I uh, is uh, yes. Because I think he's dressed in the gold thing and he's got the wooden sorry. hand still. Uh, I think just a comedy show he popped up in. I remember. Was I maybe the last thing I saw him in? As he himself. Also um, oh, he was yeah, in the Mark um, Maron, the Mark Maron t um, TV show. He's in the Mandalorian as well. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yes, that's that's it. Damn. Never saw Arrested Development. Or are you just saying that he was arrested? I'm not sure. I think it's in Arrested Development. Or I can never be as himself, right? No idea, never seen it. Can't 
How have I not seen it? I don't know. It's not really my thing. Lisa's seen it. The mound has stood here for centuries. Gabriel can't affect it so easily. Hey, did you realize last episode, Gabriel didn't say anything horny at all. Uh. It was the narrator that did it. So we might be in some good, in a good position. Got some real curb vibes. Uh, yeah. Uh, but the girl even asked him what he wanted this morning, and he said coffee. And go to his didn't even go to his go to. That was like a softball. Exactly. Yeah. Easy layup for him. Um, the thing is, it may have curb vibes, but without Larry David. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Let's enter the snake mound. And even like clicking on mounds, you'd think Gabriel would have something horny to say about that too, but no. Tight lipped. I don't think it has I don't think it has much curb vibes anyway. Because it's like Gabe's mostly the cringe embarrassment humor, right? Uh not always. Like it's so the the idea behind Curb is Larry says things that everyone thinks but never says out loud and he goes with the blows, so to speak. So what the hell is this? It's a mummy. So it can be cringy, but oftentimes you always feel that you're on Larry's side because it is something that everybody thinks of. I think that's what's genius about it. I'm worried about this guy. Let's have a look. Hello. That mummy doesn't appear to be capable of speech. Gabriel would rather not mess with that mummy. Mummy-like figures and contorted poses appear to be the only residents here. Gabriel wonders, was this a burial mound, or does their presence serve some ritualistic purpose? Did I save it when we came in here? I think I did, but let me just have a look. Let me just do it anyway. There's mummies and shit. I think I saw um, a little bit of when Pixel Turkey was playing this, the original, and I saw some mummies and stuff that maybe warrants a save. Um. All right, let's pick this up. This stone looks interesting. It's got those big baggy pockets. These jinkos. No way in the... I don't think it happens now, but in the old mummy movies, why they've got their hands in front of them. Because they couldn't see? Because they, they had bandages all over their face? Well, I guess that's the explanation now, but the first... One of the first mummy movies, the guy was told the idea was that their eyes have um, rotted as well, like mm. they wouldn't work um, anymore. The actor was told you're practically blind, mm. so the actor held his hands in front of him, um, like acting like a blind person. But then they decided to retcon it um, before publishing it, so they cut out the scenes that would tell the audience that. So. Mm. As far as the movie's concerned, it's a per it's a the mummies can see. It's just that, but then the actor's got his hands in front of him, pretending to be a someone who can't see properly. I don't like that idea. I like the previous that they can't see, so they're feeling around um, because they've got no rot. I like the whole rotten eyes things makes sense. I kind yeah. of hate it in like zombie films and stuff where um, all they do to make a zombie eyes is put like white contact lenses in. It looks it looks shit as. I wish yeah. they, there was a zombie movie out there that actually did something with it where they couldn't see very well because they, their eyes were damaged and they had yeah. rotted sockets or something. I don't know. I think if you go deep into that, that's what I sort of don't like with mummies and zombie stuff is when they go a little bit too technical and it's like, wait, but it's regenerated flesh anyway, like, like they're a dead person alive anyway. So then what's the boundary between what rots and what doesn't? Well, the body's still rotten, right? So the yeah. organs don't work, I would assume. They're not, they don't have a stomach and stuff, but yeah. they're muscles and brain. I mean, I guess brain's an organ, right? But brain's an organ. Yeah, the yeah. brain's die without oxygen too. So like what? Yeah. But if you've so, but literally if got a rotten eye like, that doesn't appear anymore, then it's not going to work, right? Yeah. I guess it's just loosey goosey with what rots and yeah. what doesn't. Zombies don't make much sense, yeah. And zombies never look realistic. All they do is add that cheekbones makeup on shit these days. I want to see a zombie film where zombies actually look like something that's dead, not just makeup. 
Haven't yeah, seen they've it got yet. the technology to have like the negative space stuff, like um, mm. Two Face in Batman, like that kind of technology. And they've got, and they do that even more so. But I guess an entire movie of that with multiple ca- uh, multiple characters doing that would be hard. It got expensive. Mm. And The Walking Dead is really guilty of. Um, so every zombie in The Walking Dead has long hair for some reason. Like the hair just keeps growing. Everyone's just got that and beige clothes. Mm. It's like there's no fashionable zombie in the Walking Dead universe. Oh, yeah, they just, no matter what they were wearing when they got bit or got the virus, then they just changed into shitty clothes. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've never seen a zombie with a mustache either. Why don't zombies have mustaches? They should. Maybe sometimes they've got beards, like scraggly beards, but still, I don't know. I want to see a Van Dyke or something like that. Yeah, I think there's a problem. Like, they, it's almost like the. The great is of zombie stuff you usually have an idea of what a zombie looks like and it's, so it's not like a diverse population that gets hit by the virus it's like well this is what a zombie looks like they go they go from that angle instead mm. lee um zombies in a bikini got cancelled with dead dead right no what was it called dead island that um that pre-order bonus where you could get a zombie torso and um yeah people weren't happy with that oh wow well there's that was it? Was there, there's those showgirls from that Zack Snyder one, right? Oh, I seen it, but yeah. What was that? Army of the there's, Dead there's or something? Sexualized. Yeah, Army of the Dead. I don't know if it was sexualized, it was... but it was kind of like, it wasn't like nude showgirls. It was just like the bikinis, mm. like, you know, the way they've got ostrich feathers and stuff. That kind of. Yeah, yeah. That that sort of thing. Um, that movie was really cool because they, they had things in there that made no sense. Like there was a robot zombie in there for some reason. But they never mentioned it or anything. They just saw you saw sparks fly out of it when they got shot. And it's like that's I don't know. I like it. Um, is anybody here? There is no answer. The moment the story of the feathers type showgirls. Um, I was listening to Pen like podcast. One of his really like ages and ages ago, and he um the guy he has on the show is the kiddo. He's this guy. It's kind of mostly a juggler magician but also slight com- slight comedian and he said he had this show as part of this topless show and he goes but it was a it was one of the shows with the feathers so it's like it's your mum's topless show like it's um that was i just remember a weird concept your I sort of get the concept but it, yeah i sort of get what he's saying but it's also a weird concept like those words are really weird together um but I think it's like something where it's like if your parents were there, like wouldn't be that bad because it's like it's not sexualized. And then pendulate, and then I think pendulate might have made the point of it's the feathers because if, if you hold hide some a woman's hair, then it's much less sexualized. Um, that's probably part of it. But um, oh sorry, and the guy goes also they're so they glide when they um when they walk like it's very elegant. But he goes, oh the interesting thing was despite how much like all the crew just sees tops women constantly all the time but even then i think it's a guy thing that whenever there'd be a new woman the crew would be all be looking to see her topless for the first time regardless of how much they see it normally mm. a very weird concept but he said um but the story came up because he goes he had um magic he had an act on this thing and um this guy was on stage and Rodney dangerfield was in the audience and he goes, oh, it's Roger Dangerfield. Would you mind coming up and telling a few jokes? What you didn't know was Roger Dangerfield who was blotto. He'd just been drinking constantly. Mm. So he was just pissed as a maggot. And he, um, and he gets up on stage. And so it's this very polite audience. Even though it's a top of the show, it's a very polite audience. Um, he's being elderly. And he goes, how do you get your wife to scream in bed? You wipe your dick on the curtains. So he told that joke. Jesus, and he goes, Steve, you filth bag. Go on. He told the joke. I thought that was pretty tame compared to other ones. But for this audience, he goes, it just sucked. It it was like it, you could hear the audience get winded. It was just <sighs> like you could just feel the air get sucked out and everyone was gasping for air. Like that joke just went down so badly. But um, but he goes, yeah, there was that. And he goes, but all the comedians backstage were pissing themselves laughing. Um, where it just says the like the worst thing you could to that audience. And that was another Steve fact. Haven't had a Steve fact in a long time. There we go. All right, 
let's see. What have we got here? The vines are thick and tough. Taking them down wouldn't be easy. Wouldn't be easy, but not impossible, right? Do we have a knife? I don't know if we do. Oh, we do have a knife. Yeah. That doesn't seem to work. Ah, oh, what a tease. Uh, let's look at the cave painting. The walls bear ancient paintings. The handiwork of the sun worshippers, no Ooh, doubt. Oh, you Oh, God, snap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's not a knife. You've played knifey spoony before. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a vine here. Maybe we can cut this one. That doesn't work that uh, way. Like, can we use it? Although he has a playful urge to swing on those vines, Gabriel would feel a bit childish doing so without good reason. And he's an adult now. What about this one? The vines are thick and tough. Taking them down wouldn't be easy. That doesn't seem to work that so way. So there's still a chance. Although he has a playful... Okay. I think we should look at... Look at... Where's the stone tablet here? There doesn't seem to be any writing on the stone. Unless the snakes themselves are a code of some sort. Are they sperms? Maybe they are sperms. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're supposed to be snakes, but they do look like sperms. The heads are a little bit too big. <laughs> Snake heads aren't bigger than the bodies. Usually. Oh no, sometimes they are. For the big constrictors. It fits. It does. Now what do we put in the hole? Is this an ancient glory yeah. hole, Steve? Yeah, he just needs a little bit of a soapbox. That's Jeez. all. Other than that, he's pretty close. That's yeah, for the snakes. This is a glory hole. That doesn't work that way. Of course it wouldn't. What about this? Gabriel can't see a way to use that. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just... No worries, Lee. Enjoy. We'll catch you later. See ya. Next room. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. Could it be this? Hello. That mummy doesn't appear to be capable of speech. Oh, there's different tiles. Okay. Right, so we're just going to have to steal the tiles then. Uh, it's called Enslaved. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> it's stuck. Oh, we could jimmy it with this. That doesn't seem to work that way. What else do we have? Twees? No worries. That doesn't work that way. Have you played that, Steve? Enslaved? No. I remember it at the time, but... I've mm. actually played it. Um, is anybody here? There is no answer. An elaborate mural with a mask design has been carved into the wall in this room. The story, Tongs, is brill. Absolutely brill. Um, and it's voiced and performed by Andy Circus, So, you know, it's um, got some good capture and all that. And they also at one point refer to a penis in that game, which I think is weird because I don't think I've ever seen a game refer to somebody's penis before. Is anybody here? There is. An elaborate mural with a mask design has been carved into the wall in this room. Can we take the torch? Would you, Tongs, call this a flashlight? Gabriel could extinguish the torches, but it would get very dark in here. Okay. Torches light the interior of the mound. Either they burn perpetually, or someone recently lit them. Alright, next room it is. Ooh. Okay. Do you think what's going to happen is when we put the right thing in the hole, the, the mummy in that room is going to come alive? Oh, yeah. 
Looks like we gotta put the right ones on the right, like multiple spots for them. Yeah, I might just do the rounds and collect that them all, and we'll work it out. To be capable of speech. Vines, cave paintings. What's this cave painting? The walls bear ancient paintings. The handiwork of the sun worshippers, no doubt. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. Oh. Oh, it's a spoon. Storm tripping. How you doing? Hey. Welcome in. It's shaped a little like a snake. Oh, maybe that's what we stick in the hole. I'll save it because I don't want no, yeah, no mummy business. Say hello to the mummy there. That mummy doesn't appear to be capable of speech. But tell another bunny, don't you feel that? This one isn't filthy though. Uh, if you like. I'm going to continue story picking Gilbert, up tiles. story Gilbert Gottfried told. I've been going through his podcast recently because I told the story to someone and they wanted to actually listen to it and I've been trying to figure out which one it is. But um, he's, uh, he was seeing, um, he saw Rodney Dangerfield doing some stand-up and he was trying out new materials like an experimental audience, like it's one of those small audience gatherings so he was mostly trying out new material to see what sticks. Is anybody here? And none of it's there working, no so answer. he's bombing hard on stage. And so yeah, um, one stage, like several minutes of um, just nothing, um, suddenly stops halfway through his act and he just looks at him and goes, From hey, off the mound, echoes if the anyone sound tells like the scuffle me, of a shoe. It's, hey, if anyone tells you you're a hot crowd, you spit in their face. Good old Rodney Dangerfield. Mm. Is anybody here? There is no answer. I feel like we've gone into too many rooms. How many? Look at look how many things we've got. Oh, yeah. do you think we have to count the vines in the room? Maybe. I was thinking that because there can't be anything else to differentiate. But even though that's kind of silly. Oh, this is the like, first room. Like how, would, how would they predict how many vines are going to be in the room? But then I wouldn't be surprised. Well, maybe it's the first room. I don't it's know. like a Rise of Skywalker thing. <clears throat> it's stuck. Let's use the spoon on it. Well, she's got the ancient Sith dagger. And for whatever reason, the rod fits that into the hole in the, the stone. Um, ruins of the Death Star. <laughs> Nothing happens. If we look at An it, etched stone is on the wall. Oh, we can't even actually. Um... Okay, here we go. Well, uh, so we got twelve. Um, yeah, I guess on the original one, is it? Because the one we had was the two big ones and then a bunch of sperm are going towards the center. Where is no, it's not the not the original. That one looks like the four elements type one. Hmm. An etched stone is on the wall. So many oh, things. Exactly. Used to that. Nothing happens. All right. I. Oh, hang on. Where are we going now? Actually, if when he did the staff thing, halfway, th like after doing, he goes, "This reminds me of Greece." That's disgusting, Steve. Right, if he's not being the filth bag anymore, I've got to take up the slack. <laughs> and the narrator's been pretty quiet too. Okay, let's see. I don't know how we're going to work this out. Oh, can we compare it with the book, maybe? No, we cannot. Was that you or was that the game? That's the game. That was not me. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. He Was he there before? I don't think so. Hmm... I don't know, but let's just stick something in and hope for the best. A 
and then we use the spoon nothing happens okay let's pick that back up then I don't know if we have to okay that was the two we'll try we'll try each one now we'll go to the three Oh, it could be counting torches even... Oh, no, there's only two torches. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. Take that one back. Uh, let's do the nine. Storm tripping you played this before or are you um, new to it like we are? Nothing happens. Okay, nine is not it. It is very phallic when you think about it. We've got sperm paintings and this rod that we're sticking in. Um, six, let's go for six. Oh, I think Lisa's back with a coffee and a croissant. That'll be good. Nothing happens. Okay, one more stone. And if this doesn't work, I have no idea what this puzzle is meant to be. And also, maybe we need to put all these stones in at once. Nothing happens. Not sure then. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe they're meant to get stuck. But none of them have got stuck so far. Is this... Hang on, we can't go to... Oh, here we go. I'm going to keep going to previous room until... Okay, we've been here before at least. Maybe if we look at this... I don't think... I think this is a stuck one. If we can look to see what similarities it has. Yeah. <coughs> It's stuck. Pen and paper. Let's have a look. An etched stone is on the wall. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Stuck. And let's stick our rod in there. Nothing happens. Okay, if we go to the previous and let's put the six in the wall. From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. Okay, we're back at the. Is that someone's here? I think it's a zombie shoe. Oh no, they don't have shoes. Okay, I'm gonna save it now that we've got a whole bunch. So seven was up. This is where I think six will go, but let's go to the, this previous room. I don't think we went to this this way. No, we didn't. Okay. There's cave paintings, but it doesn't really tell us much. Is anybody here? There is no answer. Why would you talk to a cave painting? The walls bear ancient paintings. The handiwork of the sun worshippers, no doubt. Okay. Turns out we've got heaps more, um, tiles. Hey, 
Hey, someone if we get him stuck first. Mm. He might have been in that, that rather than letting it stuck as well. And then we do him in order. But now the snakes give the order. Yeah. So I'll keep going through all the rooms to collect as many tiles as we can, and then we can rotate through to try and get them stuck. One sec. MVP lease. Still a previous room. <laughs> Gotta get them all. Collect all the tiles. So there's this loop now? Uh, I mean, I guess it's a... Oh, hang on. What I might do is... From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. Is this a locked one? I think it is, right? We didn't put it here. <clears throat> it's stuck. Okay. Now, if that's stuck... We'll have a look to see what An number it is. stone is on the wall. Oh, I think this is the one with six from memory. Um, yeah, six sperms. Oh. Yeah, I mean, six, six, yeah, 12. So oh. then we go... What's it? Do, what are our numbers? We don't have a one... Oh, we'll go to one snake. Okay, so there's 12 in total. So we want... Is this... We've got an 11 snake. Okay. So I'm going to go down a room and put the 11 in there and see if it jams. There's no mummy in this room. Oh, no, there it is. And if we rot it, will that lock it in? Nothing happens. Okay, so it could be the opposite as well. If that was 12, this could be 1, technically. So I'll try the 1. the one and if this doesn't work we're gonna have to come up with a new plan nothing happens okay so what I'll do is I'll take this and I'm just gonna apply the one on every room and see if that because we don't even know if locking it in is the actual solution either yeah Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched Nothing happens. Or maybe this is just me spitballing here, but if we place it in and it slots in and gets jammed, then maybe we have to go through all the rooms and and rod them in order from one to twelve, because it might be mixed up. Mm. I'll still rob them just in case, because we don't know. Tongs, do you know the solution to this? Because you've um you've seen people play it? Nothing happens. Oh. 
You don't know the solution. From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. Nothing happens. The music reminds me of the um, Lion King DOS game. Lion King DOS game? Is that the, that's the platformer, right? Yep. Exactly. Well, that one's jammed, so we can't do that. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. Oh, if this is the entrance, then maybe one is the right one here. Nothing happens. People getting frustrated as in they can't solve the solution or they get killed by the mummies. Nothing happens. I still have, um, I still have hope. Like, I, I don't feel like we're out of ideas yet. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. I don't think of how the mummy is Reminiscent for which tiles go in, because they're the only things that really, like I know other things change superficially, but they're the only ones that change majorly, room to room. Hmm. Same time, uh, one, I think one of the mummies actually changed from when we last saw it. Hmm. In the, like in a room where the mummy wasn't there before. I don't know. Nothing happens. I was going to say it's going to be the last one we check, but that's stupid because of course it's going to be the last one we check because we're not going to continue doing it after we've done it. From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. I like the music in this level though. It's good. Mm. I think what they should have done for this puzzle, just to make it a little bit better, is to give you an example of Nothing one of them happens. working, like what you need yeah. to do, and then so you can figure out the rest. And that's where it's stuck one. And that's what that's supposed to be, supposed to be the starter. One of them is stuck 12 and the other one's stuck seven. I have no idea after this one, actually. Nothing happens. 
I have a feeling what we need to do, after we try doing this, is put them all in at once, using those two as an order. Like, so we know what order they're going. Like the okay, so we're back at 12. Shoe. Okay, so that's 12. Maybe just look at this scene to see what... Well, what I'm thinking, oh, right, is the one, if we keep going down, that's counting down because we'll end up at seven where that statue is. So we put in 11 and we go through putting them in order until they're all in. So do we know that there's enough screens between 12 and seven to... Not yet, but we can, that's what we'll work out gaps, now. Right? We'll work that out now and see, see what happens. Four gaps. Okay, 11. Okay. Now without doing it, just count them as we go. Screen by screen. Okay. So that'd be 11. From off in the mound, Ten. echoes a sound like Ten. the scuffle of a shoe. Nine? Nine. Eight. And so it should be this one here. And we could just go back and. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So we'll put eight in this one, and then go up to twelve, and then make our way back yep. through. Do you remember in Fate of Atlantis when we were in that section with the lava steps and there's like the chasms where you go through one, it was a Scooby-Doo Scooby -Doo section, yeah. you go through one door and end up somewhere else? Yeah. My least favourite. This bit does remind the me shadow of like, flickers in the corner point of clicks Gabriel's eye. Puzzle solving in an area like this. Okay, here's the big thing. When we go through here, we're going to be at one. If we place all the things in and all the zombies come alive, do we really want to be in the middle of the catacombs? Or do we want to be at, at room one? So what we could technically do is go all the way to seven and work our way back down to one, just in case. What do you think? Fine, yeah. Sounds good. Gabriel has the creeping sensation so that he's being watched. That's one. I'll put two in and then we can just run back through. So one is the final one we put in. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. And at least we can save it just before one as well. Michael, how is um vacant story going? From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe.
This is the entrance, though. I'm confused. Resetting progress. From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle. All right. Doing another save. We're going to call this. Ready to insert. Remember your sex tape, Steve. <laughs> Remember to insert. Alright. Will this do anything? Yes! Oops. Yep. No, no, don't know what order. I'm guessing just in normal order. Yeah, a, would it just be counting up? Let's have a look at the book. Maybe this this book has something. Gabriel opens ancient digs of Africa. The most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin, located 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the snake mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remain a mystery, though clearly they were the result of profound and urgent spiritual belief. Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound, a small snake ring within a larger snake ring. The mound is thought to have housed an ancient temple. Although archaeologists have explored the mound site, the interior remains largely unchanged from ancient times. This is partially due to stringent government regulations and partially to local superstition. The local people regard the mound with fear and won't go near it. Gabriel looks at the picture again. Nothing there. Okay. Here goes. Save it first. Pretty good. I, I saved it before this conversation. I don't want to do the laying of that again. Nothing happens. Okay. You weren't there before, surely. Nothing happens. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. From somewhere off in the mound, Gabriel hears a soft click, so then a rumble. Uh-oh, I have a feeling that did something. Uh. This has to be Resident Evil Rules, right? Since you're mm. absolutely screaming, you're safe. Um. 
I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Yes. Night, I presume. Uncle Wolfgang. In person. Now go to it, boy. I can't hold these creatures for very long. And there are more on the way. Go to what? The secret panel, boy. These creatures are only alive while it's open. Close it, Gabriel, and hurry. Um, I think I found something. I think it's because I tried the vines earlier, Tongs, and it's Very mentioned good, something Gabriel. about swinging them. Now stand back. Oh, jeez. Like Sweet. A ninja. Wow, the inner wheel. Yes, wheel okay. within a wheel. Are you okay? You don't look so hard. I'm fine, Gabriel. The oh, wheel. You dreamt it? Yes, and you? Yes. I must congratulate you on the Three Snakes connection. I had missed it. You will make a wonderful shot in here. Who, me? Yes, it's a long path, my boy. I myself have still the last of my three quests to meet. I was going to say but something let's about see that, what is here. You have found the heart of the apple, but it might be poisoned still. All right. Now we can save it. Hey, Michael, would you ever, um, like, cut your mullet into just the rat's tail? A mommy lies on the floor, apparently having fallen inanimate where it stood when the secret passageway door closed. Good lord, no? Okay. I remember when the Star Wars movies came out for a while, a lot of people were doing, like, the, the um, Padawan raid kind of thing. Oh, uh, yeah. We have a friend that did that. I don't know of anyone that did that. Really? Sav did that. What, did he? Mm-hmm. Jesus. <laughs> the inner wheel is decorated with mask murals similar to the one that hid the secret passageway door. There was a um, bad movie that um, Roger the Media reviewed, and in it there's this assassin with a rat's tail. Um, but when he got, when he was about to kill someone, he put the rat's tail in his mouth. What? It was very weird. Okay. Look at that table. Yes, it is very old. I have old. questions about that in a second. There is a story being told through the carvings on the side. Can you make it out? A tribesman discovers a snake mound hidden in the jungle. Mm -hmm. He manages, after much time, to find the secret entrance to the inner reel. In this room, he bows down to a small idol of some sort. The thing is radiating, like a sun. That explains the source of the Gedi's tribal power. They found this mound and the idol in it. Where the idol came from originally is hard to say, but it is definitely older than the Gedi's. The idol was probably once kept in this table, but they would have it with them now. It must be destroyed. Why is he holding his chest? Is he not going to make it? Um, yeah, as you were telling that story, tired. Steve, um, we walked, we clipped through the wall and then it started talking. So you said an mm. assassin bites on his own rat's tail when he's about to kill someone. Yeah, like puts it through his teeth when Why? he's getting ready to kill someone. I have no idea. Oh, okay. That was like, that was a confusing part to the people watching it too. It's just like there's a The table's lid fits heavily on the base. At the seam, there are two large holes on either side. On top of the lid is a trap. Put your hand in there. Shall we try this lid? I suppose it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not... Uh, more help, Gabriel. I don't think it would open so easily, though. Very ten strong men. What if we put the spoon in it and then we can spin it? Oh, I guess we can't. What about this? What was the story on this table again? A tribesman discovers a snake mound hidden in the jungle. He manages, after much time, to find the secret entrance to the inner reel. In this room, he bows down to a small idol of some sort. 
The thing is radiating, like a sun. That explains the source of the Gedi's tribal power. They found this mound and the idol in it. Where the idol came from originally is hard to say, but it is. Okay, we've got that. So I've written down snake mound, entry, bow to the idol, radiate. So maybe there's some sort of... I like symbol puzzle. What's that trough for? I saw that. Yes. This is undoubtedly a sacrificial table. That trough is for a human heart. Well, That's sorry, sick. Uncle. Looks like you're going to have to go the way of the old people. What do you find a door? Does this mean anything to you? Uh -huh. It's a ritual dagger. You did well to take it, Gabriel. It belongs to you now. Uh, can we use it on... There's no reason to use the Ritter Dagger on Gabriel oh, really? here. I thought it was definitely going to be like in Blade. You know, when the blood runs up the channels? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, there's murals. The inner wheel is decorated with mask murals similar to the one that hid the secret passageway door. Oh, can we take the bars and then we can slot it in the, um... What about these iron bars? Yes, okay. Good idea. Let me help you. Stop holding your chest, Uncle. It's concerning. Jesus, how heavy that must that be? Perhaps these holes. Oh, okay. It's like a there. piercing. The bar fits in the tabletop. Gabriel doesn't want to put it back in the rack until he figures out what purpose it serves with the table. Come on, Arita, you're smarter than that. That single bar doesn't look like it will give much leverage. Okay, we need to do the other one then. Let's get the other one. This is like the, the anchor on Sea of Thieves. Other capstone? Yeah, that sounds about right. We gotta get back onto some Sea of Thieves now that the season 11's mm. come out. A whole lot of stuff's changed. Oh, so we lift it like a um, rickshaw. Yeah. I thought we were spinning it for some reason. Let's try to lift this top. That looks like he's about to die. Oh, I know it's in there. Yes, it is in there. Oh, I've not felt this powerful since... Well, ever. Why won't so the damn lid come off? It is a sacrificial table. It can probably only be triggered by some proper use of that trough there. Oh. With a heart. Oh, great. Where are we gonna get a heart? Mummy. Gabriel, you must take the talisman and be Schottenjäger. You performed the ritual and dreamt of the dragon, no? <laughs> yes, yes, I did, but you're the current Schottenjäger. I only did that because... Because you were driven to oh, it. We're gonna have to I have done nothing with this title for many years. Oh, even in my prime, I had few cases. Ah, uh, no, if, if my life had a purpose, it was to bring you to this point. But I have no idea what I'm doing. It's not a science, Gabriel. It is instinct. And you have it in your blood. Trust it. The castle is yours now. It has many documents and records, which will help you in the future. Hopefully it well, the thanks place. for the confidence, but what about this table? I want you to go into the next room and get the heart from that dead creature on the floor. Will that work? Doesn't it need to be fresh? Let us try. Perhaps there's some of the old Ritter magic left. Go on. It's funny he says the other room, but it's not the other room. It's literally like 20 feet away. Yeah, unless this is like, um, 
This doesn't have those weird transitions, but it could be like the park where the original was like four screens. Great. My and first job was a shot in Diego. Together. Cutting up dead monsters. Okay, I'm just a little anxious. No, they haven't. I just need to talk to Gabriel. Oh. <gasps> we did it! Like, um, the first Evil Dead. Deep in the earth I faced a fight that I could never win. The blameless and the base destroyed. And all that might have been, Gabriel Knight. Naughty Day 9. After arranging for the shipment of Wolfgang's body back to Rittersburg, Gabriel returns to Norlands. He carries with him the Ritter talisman. He has not heard from Grace for over 24 hours, and he could not reach Malia by phone. As if Malia is going to respond. And although he has some idea of what he is coming home to attempt, he still has no clue where to attempt it. Or does he? Church? Grace, I'm home. Grace, Grace. I'm home. Oh no. Grace! Alright, well... That is where we'll call it. And we have... One final, uh, one final episode before we beat the game because there's only ten days, which is exciting, really exciting. We'll um, get the wheel and spin the wheel after next episode. See what game is coming up next. Um, yeah. All right. Let us see who is online. We can send you guys across. Okay. Let's see. Steve, do you have anyone online? I don't see anyone currently at the moment. I was about to comment because weirdly, I, you're li like literally the only follow up that's online. Like, it's. There's that's usually right. a few others that I probably wouldn't raid, but they're at least they're there, but there's literally nothing. We will find someone in the retro category then. Let's have a look. Alright, found someone. Play playing a game that I've never finished before. Hopefully, they are good people. We'll see. Um, I'm going to keep it a surprise of what game they're actually playing until we're over there. All right. Just locking you guys in the raid cannon, ready to fire you off. Enjoy your weekend, folks. Um, make sure you have something delicious like pizza or whatever it might be to cheer you up and, you know, all that jazz. But we will see you next time on another episode of Midweek